What's up guys, Houndish here, and today we're jumping in with a Season of the Wish video, and in this one we're going to focus on the Eververse Bright Dust items available for Season of the Wish. But in particular, we're focusing on items which are available for both Bright Dust and Silver, as always, and so the goal is to help you guys avoid spending Silver on items that will also be available for Bright Dust in the Season, and so we'll check out new armor and weapon ornaments, but also shaders, vehicles, cosmetics, and everything that can be purchased for Bright Dust in Season of the Wish. And as you guys who watch this video regularly will know, we can no longer see the precise dates at which items are going to be sold, but we're still able to tell what currencies all of the items will be available for. And so if you want to avoid spending silver when you can instead spend bright dust, hopefully this video will be helpful. Big shout out to todayindestiny.com for their Eververse calendar. As always, that is linked down below if you want to take a more in-depth look. But now let's focus category by category on the items that are available for both currencies this season. And so first up, we do get a handful of new exotic armor ornaments. And initially, for Hunters and for the Star Eater Scales, there's a new ornament called Digital Variants, and we can see that this will be available for 600 silver, but also for 1500 Bright Dust. Once again, we can't clarify exactly when the item will be sold for both of those currencies, but in nearly every case, it'll be available for silver before it's available for Bright Dust. So if you're willing to wait and you don't want to spend the silver, this will be available for Bright Dust later in the season. Another which will be available though is the Aurora Sacrifice, which is a new ornament for the Titan's Hallow Fire Heart. And the same costs will apply here, 600 silver, but also available for 1500 bright dust during the season. And then we've got the Crystalline Lodestar, which is a new ornament for the Osmiomancy Gloves. That's a pretty cool one right there. Once again, the costs are the same. And then back to the Hunters, there'll be the Armory Exhibition Ornament for the Assassin's Cowl, which is a cool kind of knight-themed ornament, I suppose, right there. But on top of that, there'll be the Adamantine Rebirth, which is a pretty cool ornament for the Laurelie Splendor Helm. And very finally, there is Beast Whisperer, which is a new ornament for the Claws of Ahamkara. So once again, all of these items are going to come up for 600 silver, but we'll have an alternate cost of 1500 Bright Dust. And as we saw last season, many of the armor ornaments actually came up in the final couple of weeks of the season. So unfortunately, if you don't want to spend real cash, a little bit of patience is required. And we can see here as well a bunch of items that will be silver only. That includes the Witcher themed legendary armor and some stuff returning from other seasons. But importantly, the new exotic ornaments are primarily available for Bright Dust as well, which is a positive. Unfortunately though, when it comes to weapon ornaments, there won't be that many items which are brand new and available for Bright Dust. The one that we can point out though is the Corrupted Logic Ornament for Necrochasm, and this is a sort of Siva themed ornament for the weapon, which is pretty nice. That one's going to come up for 700 silver, but keep in mind, it will also be available for 1250 Bright Dust. And otherwise, as you can see right there, there will be a bunch of the juicier weapon ornaments from the past couple of seasons available for Bright Dust in Season 23, as well of course as Dawning items since that seasonal event will kick off this season. However, versus the one Bright Dust exotic weapon ornament that we'll get this season that's new, you can see right here, there are a whole bunch which will be silver only. That includes the new Thorn ornament, the ornament for the new exotic bow, and a couple of others that you can spot on screen there as well. So share your thoughts about that down below. But next, we get on to exotic emotes. And firstly, we'll get a new one for the season called Magic Lamp. This is going to come up for a thousand silver, but we can see it'll also be available for 3,250 Bright Dust at some point in the season. There is additionally the Cozy Campfire exotic multiplayer emote. That will have a 1,200 silver cost, but will also be up for 4,250 Bright Dust. The same costs will apply to the Mystical Reading multiplayer emote, which is going to come up at some point. And then we get on to a couple of legendary items. Firstly, there's the Let Me Tell Ya legendary multiplayer emote. That will cost 800 silver when it's sold, but will also sell for 1250 Bright Dust. And additionally, there's the Hot Gossip legendary multiplayer emote, which once again will be 800 silver or 1250 Bright Dust. In addition to those though, we get the unacceptable legendary emote. This will be available for 500 silver or 700 bright dust. And finally for the rare emotes, there is the warrior stance. This will be 200 silver or 400 bright dust. And the same cost will apply to the curtsy rare emote as well as the times ticking rare emote. So those are all of the emotes that are new this season and will be available for bright dust. We can see as well right here, a bunch of other emotes that'll come up for bright dust from various different seasons. And once again, some which are related to the dawn. 
And be sure as always to stay tuned to the vendor reset videos on Tuesdays if you want to see the weekly Eververse inventories. But now let's get on to some ghost shells. And a new one for the season right here is the exotic arcade shell. Pretty cool retro arcade themed exotic ghost there. This one is going to be available in a silver bundle as well. We can see there are two different silver costs and typically that means that it'll be sold both as an individual silver item but also as a silver bundled item. Despite that though, for 2850 Bright Dust this will also come up on one of the Eververse suites. That's the one and only new Season of the Wish Ghost shell. There are a couple for the Dawning event as well though, and we can see the Icy Elegance shell. This will be up for 600 silver or 2850 Bright Dust. And the same costs will apply to the Cygnus shell for the Dawning, although that will also come up in a silver bundle, so just keep in mind it will be available for Bright Dust at some point as well. And otherwise on screen you can get a quick preview of some of the other ghost shells that will be available for Bright Dust this season, once again including a bunch from previous seasons. There are a couple of new exotic sparrows that'll come up for bright dust though and firstly we have the ferris raw pretty cool almost sort of dragon themed sparrow right there It'll be available as an 800 silver purchase as well as a bundled silver purchase, but keep in mind it will sell for 2,500 Bright Dust at some point as well. And once again, the same costs will apply to a new Sparrow called Afterglow, which looks pretty cool and I'm kind of more interested in a bunch of the different cosmetic items in terms of Sparrows now that we've got that speed update. So look out for those, and otherwise, a quick preview on screen right here for some of the icons of previous season Sparrows that will also sell for Bright Dust this season. For exotic ships though, we'll get the Wave Rider, a new exotic ship for Season 23. And as well as having silver costs, it will additionally be available for 2000 Bright Dust. Then there is the Steel Sky that sort of matches the Sparrow we just had a moment ago with that dragon theme. That'll be available for silver and in a bundle, but also for 2000 Bright Dust. And then you can see some of the Bright Dust exotic ships from previous seasons that'll pop up on the screen right there as well. Next up though for ghost projections, firstly there is Daily Bread. This one's going to cost 200 silver or 1500 Bright Dust this season. And the same costs will apply to the Lunar Dragon ghost projection as well as the Brain Freeze ghost projection. On top of that though, these are the other Bright Dust ghost projections from previous seasons which will return during season 23. But for shaders, there are just two new ones available for Bright Dust this season. The first is Princely presence and this was first sold in the first week of season of the wish but then there's the spark of joy shader as well and both of these will be 300 bright dust as always we can anticipate bundles and things like that that include other new shaders but as you can see there luminous void which was a silver only shader last season is going to come up for bright dust this season but finally onto some transmat effects here. Firstly, there is Inflorescence. In this season, it'll cost 200 silver or 450 bright dust, with the same costs applying to the Phosphine Stimulus. But once again, all of the rest of the bright dust transmat effects that'll feature this season are on screen right now. And for the purposes of this video, guys, that's what we have to break down. So as always, I hope the inventory for Eververse right there has been helpful and will help some of you guys avoid spending silver when you can instead spend bright dust. Especially when it comes to exotic weapon ornaments, it's very minimal this season. Or should I say minimal in terms of the bright dust purchasable items. There are a bunch that are silver only. And yes, probably overall, more of the items are silver only purchases this season than what we've seen in previous seasons. Some players have started pointing that out. It's kind of a trend direction that we've been moving in for the past couple of seasons really and given the way that Bungie are monetizing the game it isn't really surprising not to me anyway but you can give me your thoughts down below otherwise I hope the video has been helpful so if you want to see more Destiny content get subscribed to the channel let us know as well any items that you're looking forward to picking up down in the comment section and if you did find the video helpful a rating below very much helps us out on the channel but otherwise I appreciate you tuning in and whatever you get up to I hope you have an awesome day.